everybody it's Martha the librarian and welcome once again to a fun experiment this time it's more of a kind of cooking experiment and fun. and fun right and so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make play-doh play yeah and I have my assistants here today Adrian. Adrian. Yay. we're gonna make fun play-doh play it's play awesome you gotta put glitter <laughs> <laughs> you can put glitter. So we all are familiar with Play-Doh and we buy it at the store and um, a lot of times our kids tend to leave it out and then it gets really hard and then you have to go back and buy some more. So I'll show you some tips or I'll give you some tips about how to save your Play-Doh that you've already bought and then what better way than to save some money and make your own Play-Doh at home. So what, what, what you need is First, some glass bowls that we have here. Maybe a clean area, okay? And you need uh, flour. And you might want to put a sheet on your table. Maybe, yes, to protect your table. Some water and salt. And, and for fun, full col food coloring and, and some glitter. glitter. So pretty cool, right? Yeah. So here, yeah, we have red and yellow today. Okay, so let are you guys ready to get yeah, started? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. Woo! So, uh, so what you'll need first is a full cup of flour, okay? And you also need a measuring cup. Sorry about that. So a full cup of flour, and we'll have, we'll have Ava pour her flour there. That's good. And then I will pour another one for Adrian. There we go. Here we go. Full cup of flour. And then pull it off. Again. And you have the thing. Awesome. Okay, and then I will get as well. Full cup of no. flour. Okay. And just remember as you're doing this um, with all things, sometimes you might. Um, get some of them we're, we're trying to make the measurements correct but sometimes it will become too sticky or too watery or so we'll just show you how that works stick to your fingers. if what you need if it does become too sticky or too watery okay so now you need half a cup of salt so we are gonna measure half a cup of salt and I'm hoping we have enough for everybody <laughs> so half a cup of salt here you go and this is what kind of keeps it together and and conserves it saves the the play-doh so it doesn't get too moldy or uh, it doesn't go bad right away Ooh. oh luckily we have another salt here we may not have enough for mommy for me and which is perfectly fine we'll do the two okay so here is half a cup. Oh. All right, so half a cup of salt. Well, Go ahead. Make you drink. Not yet. Don't put your hand in there. Okay. And now a half a cup. Oh, I ran out of salt, so no salt for me. But a half a cup oh, of oh. water. Okay. And go ahead, Ava. Put that in there. And now, as we put the water in, another half cup for Adrian. Here you go, buddy. And well, me, nothing. It's okay. <laughs> so now they get to mix it. And you can use your hands, or we can. you can use a little fork to mix it, but definitely you want to mix it up. Go ahead. I don't have a fork, but you can just move it. It's okay. So and it's fun because it's already all slimy and gooey, and you know that's Ooh. what kids love, slimy and gooey. It's sticky. So now as it gets sticky, what you want to add is a little more of um, baking soda, of flour, okay? And we're going to get a little Give me bit some flour. Give me some okay, flour. but you have to mix it first. Mix it first. Ooh, it's getting yeah. it is a little sticky and runny, so we're gonna add a little more flour to Adrian's. Ooh, mine just became played over. It's a little sticky. Is it still too thick? Sticky? <laughs> so we're gonna add a little more play-doh there. 
Now, if it's too dry and clumpy, add then you're going to add some water to it, okay? And let's see. And there's definitely a cover on the table right now because then you know how yeah. it will get all. So let's in. see. Now we're looking at. Um, Mine. We're going to look at Ava's real quick. And I'm just going to take over a little bit. Okay, so it is kind of getting clumpy, but you want to kind of keep moving it around. Keep moving it. And as we move it, it's getting a little, the consistency is getting a little solid. Okay, so I've shaped her Ava's into a nice ball. It's not sticky or it's not um, too dry. It's nice and hard. And that's how you want to have your Play-Doh. Now I'm going to help Adrian. It does get messy, guys. So here is what it looks like. Woo! <laughs> and here is her Play-Doh ball, okay? Now, Ava then may, if you want, Ava, you can add food coloring. May, let's take it out. And let's add some food coloring. Go I ahead. I can't add food coloring because my hands are sticky. <laughs> Your hands are all sticky? Okay. It does get sticky. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. And it does get messy, so we had to take a small break to wash our hands. And so now everyone show your Play-Doh ball. There we go. And so we did have to add a lot of flour for that, that stickiness to go away. But if it gets too if it gets too sticky, add flour. If it gets um, too dry, you add water, okay? So, so far ours was just sticky. So this, if you kind of move it around, you knead it, and you knead it in some more, and you have your little nice ball. Place. Now you can add a little bit of oil to kind of keep it moist, but what we're going to add right now is we're going to put it on our table. Go ahead and eat your Everyone too. put it on their table. And so now we're going to add food coloring, and I'm going to add two drops of red food coloring. Okay, one, two, and then I believe Ava wants to add red. Adrian, what color do you want to add, buddy? Yellow. Yellow, okay. And I'm just going to move this around. Again, it's going to be a messy dots. two dots. Um, and just make sure you're protecting whatever <laughs> you're going to use underneath. Um, you got to move it around. And you might because it might get on your hands. Yeah, I will say that it will get on your hands. So Make sure. maybe you do want to wear some. Oh, and there's that lovely color right there. Let's see, how's your guys? You'll stuff? make some. Ooh, pink. nice. Oh, Adrian's getting all yellowy. <laughs> and okay. Okay, just one more she added on there. But you just have to add two. It does, if you move it around, it will. But it will get into your hands, okay? And. I have red hands. Okay, we put the food coloring away, and then now if you want to add a little speckle of glitter, here you go, a little speckle of glitter. Mine's going to be like a light pink. And a little bit, just a little bit. Good job. And then now you have a glittery Play-Doh. Now we have a glittery Play-Doh. And go ahead and show I'm them your glittery Play-Doh. Okay, and then that's it. This is your Play-Doh. If you want to save it, um, you can put it in a plastic bag and you can bring it out to play. It will last, but if it gets too moist, mold will grow on it. So be aware of that. If you <laughs> if you want to keep it for a while, make sure you're you're looking at that. Make sure it doesn't get too moist and too dry. It will dry up and crack. Now, for if you have Play-Doh in general that you bought from the store, it is suggested to add water and put it in a plastic bag and kind of move it around, knead it, mold it around, move it around, and it will help restate the moisture in the Play-Doh and you can use it again. So that's nice. Or you can get a wet, cloth, a wet napkin, wrap the Play-Doh, Wrap the Play-Doh and then put it back in the container and it will again try to 
soak in, soak all the moisture and it will become soft again. Now we all so that's how you can use you can reuse your play-doh. Oh. But again, if you if it if it gets too hard, you just throw it away and now you can make your own at home. And so this is another fun activity. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon for the next Bye. science video. Bye. Bye.